again everybody it's dawn with my quilt projects so if y'all don't know this i'm having a scrappy churn dash quilt along and it gave me an idea and i started pressing my fabrics getting them ready to cut and i just was putting them up on my design wall randomly and i got to thinking why not make a crumb quilt most of the crumb quilting uses little bitty pieces and that would take forever for me and I would not stick with it. So I decided to crumb quilt with my big pieces and I chose grays. Um, gray is a color that I never use in my quilts and if I get a mystery scrap bag or some people give me fabric, I have all this gray fabric and I have nothing to put it towards, it just keeps piling up. So I thought, why not make a large crumb quilt for the sofa or whatever? And because it's gray, it's gonna match whatever wherever it gets tossed. Um, some of the grays are bluish gray, some are purplish gray, some are tan gray, but they're all grays. Um, this is a great idea if you have pieces that are smaller than a fat quarter or strips that are left over from a jelly roll or whatever. A lot of the, these fabrics are leftovers from mask making. So um, I'm, I'm having fun putting this together. This took me about three hours and my design wall, I think is 672 by 72. And I've nearly filled it up. I have three seams to go and I've nearly filled it up. So this will make a nice size throw uh, for the couch and I could go further because I do still have grays but they're my gray solids uh, and I tend to not want to use those but uh, I still have a few pieces of this left to sew together as you can see down here I've just kind of laid it out um, this is a, this is a great idea for anyone who who wants to eliminate fabric in their stash. This went together so quick and there's no measuring. You just have a straight edge and you, and you sew it together and then you're done. Um, I highly recommend this. Crumb quilting at large. Um, keep following me, I'll have more on this. Thanks for watching.